2024 starting off with a bang. And I've been on the road away with the family down the beach as I always do, having a good old time. I'm gonna show you all the glorious meals that I've eaten, the cool things that I've picked up and all the different op shops I've stopped at. Let's get into it. So the first stop here, I've got this little Wrangler shirt. In the men's section, it is a women's, but it's an older tag. Definitely getting that for five bucks. And this here, I think could fetch me probably a hundred. It is $20, but the Dickies overalls, they are basically brand new. Had to grab those, as did I, this little bag of trolls. All old trolls in there for three bucks. They can go in my cabinet. I found this as well for $4. Sadly, it only sells for like 25, so I left it. But this, oh my God, $8. It's got the remote and everything. And there's no way I'm leaving this behind. This is just cool. Whoever's made that up, that's a beauty. We've got the snap button Wrangler here. These always sell amazing for me. It's an older piece. Had to grab that. And starting strong with the vintage Albert Einstein 1993 piece here. I decided to try and look like a real YouTuber and film myself in a shop, but I realized I just look like a dickhead, so I stopped doing that. Uh, then I found this Burt. How cool is this Burt? Some of these are listed so high, but generally I get about a $50 bill for them. And the blanket here for three bucks, had to grab that from Vinnie's. The Rip Curl watch, eight bucks, we'll give that a crack. We've got True Religion shirties, some Pinocchio toys, some footy shorts. I'm having a field day, Coco, what do you reckon? So every year in Drysdale, they have this massive pre-owned book fair, and I always go to it. And then I get there and realize books just do my head in. So I fanged through it real fast and actually went back down to the beach where we're staying for the night to get ready for tomorrow's garage sales. I just got to the park. Um, if you want me to tell, I got some pretty decent stuff. I left late today. But um, yeah, they had some stuff in them. Only hit up about five, and tomorrow I think myself and Kate will do some garage sales. But uh, I'm gonna go down and see the family and um, see them again because it's been a week since I was down here. I thought about putting a fair bit of family stuff in here. Here's the old boy giving the young fella some surfing lessons, and here's his old boy giving him some rock skipping lessons. Don't worry, buddy. I wasn't that good at it either. And back at the van. He taught Poppy how to play Mario Kart on the Switch. But I thought I'd get some nice soft sand in my feet and then get back into it. So I didn't really film at these garage sales down here. Um, some of them were pretty busy and I was just kind of in and out, but I did find one piece that I do want to show you. And a big shout out to Sandra, uh, who did sell me this. I really appreciate it. I spotted a rocking horse. Yes, an old one. It's probably like, I'm going to guess dated 50s. And I've seen a few of these in the past. It's just, they go for some really good money. This one was a little bit damaged. The tail was broken. Um, it needs to be fixed up. It's missing a saddle, missing some ropes, all that sort of thing. But she said she'd had that since childhood and she was really reluctant to sell it. So I got chatting and she said, look, make an offer. I offered $50, which I thought was a, a pretty good price. And they obviously go for a lot more. Um, she said she'll have a think on it and came back and said 60. So I grabbed it for 60 bucks and I do know some of these can go for a couple of hundred up. I don't intend to sell this one straight away. I think it'll look all right next to me. Donald, what do you reckon? Should anyone that's been following along would know I bought that Donald Duck a while ago. Um, probably similar era. I think what I'm gonna do, she said that she did enjoy this piece and was really, really reluctant to sell and she wanted to go to a good home. She was looking for someone that specialized in toys. As you might know, I had more 80s and 90s based, but I can appreciate old stuff like that. I think I might look at getting a few little repairs done on it, but I do want to keep that um, original sort of feel to it. Um, after speaking to Sandra, she did want to see this one fix up a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that. It's going to be a while before I get to it, but um, I might do that. Whether I sell it, I might just take it out to the auction. Obviously it won't be going on eBay, but uh, it might just go out to the uh, auction house at the Ballarat Vintage Collectibles Market one day. But for now, uh, I think she called it Gigi. Gigi's staying home with us. We're good looking roosters. <laughs> Lucky I brought the missus along. She found the Bulldog's finest commemorative plate. So I grabbed that, it was 12 bucks. We've got a vintage shirt here. We've got a couple of other, these are modern pieces. The Lakers there, that is the Mitchell and Ness. Uh, we've got the 07 wrestling shirt here. Triple H, Randy Orton, Umaga, Jeff Hardy. That's a beauty. Um, 
they go for around 50 and then that's just a modern one too but uh i thought i better show you some nice brekkie so on to the next day because i'm sure you don't want to see any more of me at the beach with the family and i didn't really know what to put here so i just acted like a dickhead so i could show you where i'm going belmont market let's go eyes on the road dickhead Hey, how are you? Yeah. John's one, eh? Right. Right. So the million dollar question, are you the guy in the office? Welcome live around Australia to who wants to be a multi-millionaire with... No, I'm not. I've been asked a bit lately from the octopus. Why would I dress up like a bloody octopus? That'd be absolutely ridiculous gimmick. Um, I don't even know where you'd get a bloody suit like that. I don't know who he is. I have nothing to do with him. But he does have a good YouTube channel and podcast, so jump over and have a listen, but it's definitely not me. It's it's 100% not me, I promise. Thanks for asking though, John. I could finally clear that up. Cheers, mate. Nice to meet you. Make those yourself, do you? Yeah, wife and her sister and her niece do, yeah. They yeah. make them all, yeah. Bloody awesome. I don't know if you've seen him, but my camera skills are pretty shot. He was sitting in a little tub there. That's what I'm picking up right now. How much is that? 20 bucks? 20 bucks? Yeah, cool. I'll have to go. I can't leave him there. <laughs> Brings back too many memories. How much is the arrow? Five bucks, brother. Five bucks. What about that one? Had twenty on him too. Yeah. It wasn't as many stalls as what there seems to normally be. Uh, I did find some cool stuff. This was pretty cool. I actually forgot to look it up i wasn't real sure i've never seen one of these i feel like it's worth more than 30 but anyway i did actually leave that behind for 30 bucks there wasn't really too much in the sort of guernsey section i wanted for the right price same went for the wrestling toys and the video games so that was about it for me basically just been showing what sort of happened the last week or so from christmas into the new year um pretty happy finding the aggro but he's actually up for grabs now if you do follow me on instagram um you'll see that i shared a photo of him but i've also now shared him in a bit of a fundraiser so um there's a lot of other stuff in this for the sake of five bucks there's a couple of vintage t-shirts some toys uh aggro a sealed skeletor all sorts of stuff i'm not going to go into detail here but um there's a family that's lost an absolute legend and uh, it's just absolutely heartbreaking story so um what i'm going to do i'm going to sell tickets for this five bucks a piece post it right on my instagram if you want a ticket simple as that i'll spin this up sunday coming whoever gets spun up uh, they take it all so there's quite a few hundred dollars worth of value in there and i want to try and raise as much money as i possibly can for the family because um uh, one of the nicest families you'll meet and sadly he's left a partner and three children behind so um, I do appreciate everyone so far that's donated to that, uh, donated to the GoFundMe and supporting the fundraiser but we'll try and get as much money as we possibly can. It's, it's uh, a tough time because it, I just couldn't begin to imagine so um, I appreciate everyone, thank you so much and um, that's up now, today is, what's the date? I don't even know, early January. Um, it'll be the 14th that actually gets raffled off. So if you're watching this after then, sorry, but you've missed out, but um, you can still donate to the family. Uh, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I'm going to drop their GoFundMe link down below so you can just do it donate directly to that um that'd be very much appreciated but uh that's it over and out i appreciate you for being here this year's going to be a massive year i have so many plans on here i've had a bit of a spell over the last few weeks and it's been absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to get into it this year i just got some very very random things going on up here that's going to come out to you so um Get prepared, got go. It's going to be a big one. I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling good, refreshed, ready to smash 2024 together. Let's go, go, go.